Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, today's video is about Proposition 208, which is the Invest in Ed 2.0. As you remember, Invest in Ed was supposed to be on the 2018 ballot, but it was knocked off the ballot uh, with multiple lawsuits. And so Invest in Ed is on the ballot for November 3rd, 2020, and I support it. So what will Invest in Ed 2.0 do? It will raise funds for public education. And how's it, how does it do this? It adds a fee on Arizona's 1% on their income. So an individual who makes more than $250,000 will have a 3.5% fee on the income above that amount. For couples who make more than $500,000, there will be a 3.5% fee on that amount of money over $500,000. Anything under those amounts will remain at the same tax rate. So uh, the business community is casting shade on Invest in Ed 2.0, saying that it's bad for small businesses. Well, by far, most of the small businesses in the state of Arizona are sole proprietorships. I had two. My husband currently has one. These sole proprietorships would love to be making $250,000. And so who is going to pay this fee for Invest in Ed 2.0? It is Arizona's 1%. Only 39,000 people in the state of Arizona will pay any tax with Proposition 208. So don't worry about the small businesses. That is a canard. Uh, the, this is an income tax. It's not a business tax. And so 